Didi Money, what are you doing? Writing a poem. About what? About a dream. What is a dream? I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Doesn't matter color, doesn't matter race, doesn't matter nationality, doesn't matter religion, Hindu, Muslim, Jews, Buddhist, communist, Christian. Every single man, woman, child is the child of God created in the image of God. And that is the most beautiful part. When once we realize that we are created by the same loving hand, that we are brothers and sisters. A person may come dressed in a sari or a, a European clothes or Arab clothes, makes no difference. Difficult to explain. But once you realize that presence, then you know whom you are touching, whom you are loving, whom you are serving. Less than a month ago, the New York Times published a commentary on Mohammed Yunus' new book, Building Social Business, a new kind of capitalism that serves humanity's most pressing needs. In the 2006 Nobel Lecture, Mohammed Yunus linked the pursuit of peace to the imperatives of economic development. Quote, the frustration, hostility, and anger generated by poverty cannot sustain peace in any society, he said. We must find ways to provide opportunities for people to lead decent lives. And since I didn't know anything about banking, that became a big help for me. I didn't have to follow their rules. I didn't have any problem creating new rules and breaking all of them. Conventional banks go to the rich. We made sure we go to the poor. And we created a bank where we emphasize on the women. Conventional banks mostly go to women, men. We decided to go to women. <laughs> that we have the capability now to create the digital Aladdin's lamp. And that Aladdin lamp will be in the hands of the poorest women in Bangladesh or elsewhere, she will just touch the Aladdin's lamp and the digital genie will come out of it and say, what can I do for you? And any problem she has can be resolved by the help of the digital genie. We have the digital genie in our hand right now, but the poor woman doesn't have it yet. You are a lucky generation. You are lucky because you have the most powerful technology in your hand to create a new world. Our generations didn't have that. And the wonderful technology that you have in your hand, you will decide where you take this technology to. Because technology is like a vehicle, it's like a car. It's the driver who decides where you want to take it to, yes, take you to. If you want to use this technology to make money, it will take you to make money and make a lot of money. If you want to take this technology to change the world, make it a better world, 
definitely it will take you there. So it's your choice what you want to do with it. Didi Muni, does everyone have a dream? Yes, I think so. This young teenager has officially climbed to new heights. Malavath Porna, just 13 years old, is the youngest girl to have ever scaled Mount Everest. The teen, originally from a poor Indian farming family, shed tears as she approached the summit of the massive mountain. While Nepal requires that climbers be at least 16 years old to summit its peaks, Porna scaled the over 29,000-foot peak with a team of Nepalese climbing guides from the northern side in Tibet, where age restrictions don't exist. It's a very difficult, every step is dangerous step. Some places crevasse and uh, steep mountains, some places uh, steep rocks. The young girl even encountered the remains of dead climbers during her summit, the same one that killed at least 13 Sherpas two months ago following an avalanche. I saw dead bodies, six dead bodies. I was shocked. Oh my God. Oh, I, I got some fear. And I immediately I remember my Sveros Ten Commandments and my secretaries are my parents and I got again my courage and strength, energy. Maybe you have seen only bad days. Maybe you kept on falling down. Maybe you have found no hand to hold, but the challenges shouldn't make you drown. If you search inside your soul, you will find your greatest desire. If your heart is full of love and hope, you can ignite your inner fire. That fire can help you dream. That fire can pull you along. That fire will help you achieve. And that fire will make you strong. All you must do is keep on working towards what you think is grand. And one day you will achieve your dream and find your beautiful fairy land.